Just about 7.12 now, and if you have a hard time losing weight, really who doesn't, maybe you should consider fasting. No, not starving yourself, at least I hope not. We're talking about something called metabolic fasting and here to tell us much more about it, getting your body into the fat burning mode. Lisa Lynn, fitness expert. Yeah, but I just have one thing to say. This is off the cue, but not starving yourself. The people I've been seeing, you need to starve yourself a little bit. <laughs> Do not be afraid to be hungry because the biggest mistakes I'm seeing with why people are running to these fasts, mm -hmm. these cleanses, and by the way, they don't work. Just think about uh, a paper shredder as your metabolism. If you put a piece of paper into that shredder, a normal size, it goes, the shredder moves, it shreds everything. Now put 10 of those together, even if it's healthy food, into that shredder, stops shredder stops and that's how our metabolism uh, works okay. so think about a shredder what makes it move what makes it doesn't the other thing is fats really damage your your metabolism for life fats do these fasts oh fast sorry I might fasts. have said I'm fat. sorry but they they damage your metabolism long term and sometimes the people I'm seeing now 10 years later that constantly trip up in that hole mm. we've got to fix the metabolism to get it moving again so how do we do it Here's how we do it. The biggest mistakes I'm seeing right now with these fasts or with people, like last month I was on with the 21-day transformation. Yeah. And if anybody wants to do it, email me. I'll get more on. They lost practically a pound a day in 21 days. That's what was the remarkable. difference? They really came 95% on, 5% off, where most diets were flipped around the other way. Okay. So one big mistake I see is people say, I cleaned up my eating, so I did this kind of a, I fasted and I drank this little thing, we won't name the brand. Just look at how much sugar is in that thing. Ah, lots and of so these cubes of sugar are the equivalent. If your blood wow. sugar is high, you will not burn fat. Right. So you might lose weight, but you're guaranteed to put that back on and then some. So okay. key number one is we've got a lower blood sugar. Hence the reason you would want to get involved in a shake that doesn't have sugar or fat. The other little trick I do that I tell people, and I'm giving this away to you, this is an accelerator. I break mine up. I don't drink it with the powder on the is, top, is just for the record. It is. Oh, it is. Okay. But this well, is the easy. raspberry ketones everybody's hearing about that I spoke about on Dr. Oz. And one big trick I do behind the scenes, I have people break open the capsule, put it in their shake. It gets utilized more efficiently. No kidding. And the raspberry ketones trick your body into thinking like a thin person. So one, we boosted the metabolism with protein shake, and we added the ketones. We're going at it from two angles. And if you needed to, you could do a protein bar instead. But the second mistake people make, which they'll do in place of this, coconut water uh -huh. loaded with sugar. Okay. Little tiny bit of juice loaded with sugar. Yep. Non-dairy creamers they put in their coffee. These are the things that are stopping weight loss. And if you're not losing, even on a great diet like that, it's because you're doing these things. They have no place in fat loss diet. By the way, I, I noticed you have some almond milk here. Is that a guilty party as well? Guilty party. Soy milk, same type of no thing? No good. Really? No good. Oh, All I've these foods are the big, thick, chunky paper. All good for you. But when you put it into the shredder, stops. Oh, okay. So just keep thinking clean light paper through the shredder. It constantly works and shreds the paper. You bunch up the paper, you put cardboard stock in there, not going through. Okay. Fats, another huge mistake. By the way, and I, and I, I don't want to cut you off there, Can we? but yeah. I understand we have a before and after photo. Or we do, show. by the way, and we, you're going to want to see this lady. Yeah. She, was, she had lost a lot of weight. This was her before photo, about uh, 30 pounds, I think. And then what happened was when she got down to the last 15 or 20, her body went, now what? This is what? The fast. Oh, okay. The, me the metabolic boosting fast. So she's actually leaner and better now because we just keep hitting her metabolism to enhance it safely and naturally, I might add. I see. A okay. few things I pull out of people's diets, though, and let's go back. Alcohol, yeah. no place in a fat loss diet. So okay. instead of being an extreme person who fasts every time they fall in a bad hole and binge, maybe you think about living on a kind of a so-called metabolic boosting fast because... I don't know about you, but I'm not so perfect in the real world. I trip <laughs> in holes. I don't always get to work out. Yep. But all these things slow down the metabolism, just like oatmeal, rice, potatoes, very healthy foods stopping the metabolic boost. They're jamming that, uh, that shredder. Jamming the shredder. Fat shredder, cheese. paper shredder. Doesn't... This little bit, by the way, remember yeah. the size, a serving of cheese is the size of two dice. So if you have this piece, look how many pieces. I only had one, Lisa Lynn, it was 70 calories. Doesn't matter, can't get through the shredder. Really, wow. Avocado, almonds. Interesting, very healthy, but not so good for fat loss. We have to go, unfortunately. I know, I'll you know be what? back. And this, uh, yes, please do come back, and I'll tell you what, you know, it's great. It's easy with Lisa Lynn, because you know what? You just ask her one question, and she, just, she can take it Sorry. right from there. No, that's perfect, that's great. <laughs> Definitely appreciate it. For more information, go to WTNH.com. You can click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend tab, et cetera, et cetera.